Hey guys, this is Dan Solomon coming at you from the DiabetesAuthority.com. Remember to visit our website for our free special report, Diabetes Secrets Revealed, and also sign up for our free weekly newsletter packed full of valuable information on uh, how-to information as far as reversing diabetes and a lot of other diabetes-related uh, information and also expert interviews too. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about is there a cure for diabetes? This is often a question that most diabetics ask themselves and also ask their doctors. As, as, we, as you probably already know, diabetes is an epidemic. It's actually a pandemic, which means it's worldwide. It's a problem worldwide, not just here in the United States. It will eventually overtake the number one spot for the leading cause of death here in the United States. It's actually linked to all the top five killers in the world as far as heart disease, cancer. Di diabetes is related to those uh, diseases in one way or another. It's a lifestyle disease. It's not, you know, it's, uh, yes there is some genetic uh, play in there. I mean it's related to, you, you know, your family uh, lineage, lineage, but it's more of a lifestyle disease. It's related to, you know, having high blood pressure, being obese, smoking, eating bad foods, and living an unhealthy lifestyle. You know, uh, brought on by poor nutrition, uh, sedentary activity, having lots of stress in your life, not getting enough sleep. Those things all play a role in if and when you develop diabetes and how long that you deal with diabetes and how complicated your condition becomes. And it happens over time. It doesn't just show up one day on your doorstep knocking on your knocking on the front door. It happens over a period of years, months, and you know, it's a cu accumulation of all those things adding up and adding up and adding up. And at the end of the day, you have diabetes. Some claim there is a cure for it, but is there really? There is actually no common cure. There's no magic pill. There's no shots. There's no, you know, thing that you can do right now that's available that you can go purchase or get through your doctor that can just automatically eliminate your diabetes. But there is something you can do. You can reverse diabetes. And how do you do that? You do that through proper nutrition getting some exercise, and making other lifestyle changes. Did you know most people are misinformed about proper diabetes care? What their doctor tells them, what their dietitian tells them, or nutritionist, or diabetes educator, or what their friends and family actually tell them. There is a lot of misinformation about proper diabetes care, not only through that, those channels, but also on the internet. Most of what being what most of what is being told is completely wrong. There is a right way and there is a wrong way to go about doing things. So let's show you the right way to do it. Like I said, you can reverse type 2 diabetes. So let's give you some simple steps to follow. So step one, you get rid of wheat. Most of all grains, refined and processed carbohydrates, simple sugars things like juice, soda, table sugar from your diet. Step two, you want to drink more water. Most diabetics walk around partially de dehydrated most, most of the day. Water is, is vital. Not only is it you know, for normal bodily, body functions and bodily functions, but if you're dehydrated, the concentration of your sugar in your blood becomes uh, higher. So it's, I use the lemonade effect or Kool-Aid effect. If you ever made lemonade or Kool-Aid, you add sugar, you add some water. And depending on how much water you add to it will vary the sweetness of the beverage. So not having enough water leads to a very sweet Kool-Aid or lemonade. The more water you add, the more diluted it becomes. The same goes for the process in your blood and the sugar that you get from the food that you eat. So you want to make sure that you have water with you all times and that you're drinking it throughout the day. Step three, make protein foods and vegetables the staples of your diet. Very important. Protein foods and vegetables, what they, eating those on a regular basis 
prevents you from having blood sugar spikes versus if you had a lot of carbohydrates and a little protein and you know a little vegetables which is what is being taught currently so you want to make a majority of your meal and the majority of your plate that you're eating protein foods like fish chicken pork turkey beef uh, seafood those things and vegetables and I hope you know what vegetables are I'm not going to cover you know all those but uh, non-starchy vegetables, so like broccoli, cauliflower. In, uh, in step four, you want to have regularity of your meals. What I mean by that, most people only eat two or th two, one or two times a day. You want to make sure that you're eating three times a day, three meals a day, and one to two snacks throughout the day. Okay, you want to fuel the furnace. You know, it's kind of like a the fire analogy that I like to use. If you ever build a fire or went camping or seen someone build a fire what happens is they add a little bit of you know add a little bit of wood they start the fire and then every hour or so they throw a couple logs on to keep the fire going but if you start a big fire and throw a whole bunch of wood in there the fire gets real big and if you don't add any wood to it it eventually dies down and the same goes when you eat you know if you just eat once a day or twice a day you're throwing a whole bunch of logs in there and getting a big fire all at once and what happens it dies down but if you you know start a small fire and you add a couple logs over and over and over throughout the hours it will it will burn as long as you continually do that and the same goes for your body and when you add food to it it's like a furnace okay and the, the more you fuel that furnace by throwing logs or, or food into it your metabolism will stay more consistent okay which means you have stable blood sugars your metabolism will stay up and help you burn fat, and your energy and your mood levels will stay consistent. Step five, you want to take supplements. Supplements are very important because it's nearly impossible to have a perfect diet. What supplements do is fill in the gaps where your diet leaves off. So what I recommend, just a base of supplements, is a multivitamin. Vitamin D. Why vitamin D? Because vitamin D helps with the processes in the pancreas. And then of course you know the pancreas helps create insulin. Most diabetics are vitamin D deficient. Most people are vitamin D deficient. So getting enough vitamin D is crucial for regular pancreatic function. Fish or krill oil. Now I recommend fish or krill oil for the reason because it helps battle inflammation. Inflammation is the main cause of diabetes. Krill oil, I recommend that over fish oil because you take a lot less dosage, but the effects is two to three times that of taking normal fish oil because the way the body absorbs it. It's a little bit more pricier than your regular fish oil, but well worth it in the benefits. Cinnamon uh, has been used for thousands of years to help control blood sugar, and the effects of it are pretty conclusive that it does help with blood sugar control. Now, you don't want to be taking spoonfuls of cinnamon because it's nearly impossible to swallow. So getting uh, a good quality uh, cinnamon supplement over the counter is crucial. And fiber. Now fiber, you know you get that from your fruits and your vegetables and some of your grains. But of course you want to avoid your grains. And fiber, you know, getting enough fiber through just vegetables and your fruits is very hard. Um, you know, you would have to eat, you know, around 10 to 12 servings of vegetables a day to get the amount of fiber that you need. So what I recommend is taking a good quality fiber supplement about once or twice a day. You want to aim for, you know, 35 to 50 grams of fiber a day. What that does is keep you regular. It keeps your gut healthy because a lot of type 2 diabetics or diabetics in general have digestive issues. So getting enough fiber is crucial. Step six, you want to start moving your booty. So get off, off the couch and start doing something. It doesn't matter what you're doing, whether it's lifting weights, running, jogging, walking, going biking, or you're doing yoga, whatever it is, you just want to get up and start being active. And the main thing is you want to be active on a daily basis. You know, maybe during the week you go to the gym, maybe on the weekends you go dancing with your spouse, or you do gardening, or whatever it is. Just change it up there, you don't get bored. But make sure that you're moving on and moving daily. Step seven, get support. Have friends and family to talk to is huge. You know, having support and 
you know, that backing keeps the motivation going. It, it allows you to vent your problems and your frustrations and get those things out of you. There you can stay positive and stay on track to help meet your goals. You know, whether it's friends and family or if you need to talk to a psychologist or join a support group or join an online community, either way, having that there can help you. Step eight, get the bed. Not getting enough sleep causes your body's stress hormones to remain elevated. When those things are elevated, your ability to regulate sugar and insulin in your body is nearly impossible, okay? Because the stress hormones throw everything out of whack. Now, and these are just some of the minor steps that you can do right now that will help you in reversing your type 2 diabetes. For more information, visit our website again, thediabetesauthority.com, for more information on how to reverse your diabetes. Again, sign up for our free newsletter and get free gifts in the process because uh, we're, of course, generous people. So make sure you do that when you visit the site. And also browse around. Look at our uh, valuable articles and information and resources and tools that you can take advantage of. Again, this is Dan Solomon from the DiabetesAuthority.com. Till next time, dedicated to your health, have a great day.